So you beautiful people, it's Tracky and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to give you a scump class setup. Scump is class setup for pub stamping. Now he has two class setups that he tends to use, the M4 and the MP5. This is usually down to if they're playing the more pro orientated game. There's only certain weapons you're allowed to use. Things like LMGs are banned through gentlemen's agreements and perks and so forth. But this is what he tends to use in his videos when he is going for nuclears and just pub stomping and having fun. Now he's one of my favorite players, uh, namely because he's very good at Call of Duty, but he is also a very infectious personality. So I thought I'd bring this to you because there's a lot of people that tend to wonder what the pros use and evidently the pros are very good at working out in call of duty what are the best things to put on weapons to utilize them and get the best performance out of them so heading over to the gunsmith for the mp5 the first thing we're going to attach is one of my favorite grips you've seen me put this on in previous videos it is the merc 4 grip and this is what he's currently using he has used the commando 4 grip before but this is in his most recent videos so the merc 4 grip gives you better recoil control better hip fire accuracy at the slight cost of aim walking movement speed and aim down sight speed but, but for those of you who have used the mp5 before you will know that this gets down its sights pretty rapidly from the get-go in its stock formation in terms of ammunition he gets rid of the um, 9 millimeter 30 mount round mag and he opts for the 10 millimeter auto 30 round magazine which gives you better damage profile and also increased range but it will reduce your fire rate ever so slightly and your aim recoil control but obviously now we've got a grip on that's gonna you know kind of counterbalance that and in terms of the actual fire rate i still think it's pretty rapid as it's an smg and most things that you're gonna come up against especially closer ranges you're going to outgun to compensate for the the attachments that we've put on now we want to get that sprint to fire speed and aim down side speed increased and this is what it's all about reaction times you want to be down your sights as quick as possible so you can start shooting before your enemy does so stipple grip is definitely what i recommend in this aspect and that's going to give you better aim down sight speed better sprint to fire speed at the slight cost of aim stability which is not too bad on this weapon anyway next up you're going to need to put on the sleight of hand you can put on frangible wounding now they're not allowed to use these sort of things in the more pro aspect of the game but uh this does reload very slowly as for in my personal opinion with such a fast fire rate and because you're only going to have the 30 in the magazine i'm going to go for sleight of hand and then you're going to have one more attachment for the final attachment we're going to put on the ftac collapsible stock this will increase your movement speed and also increase your aim down sight speed which has been penalized by a few attachments so it's almost like a yin and yang thing we're doing here we've got plenty balance for all the cons we've added the pros so everything is balanced out nicely so your aim instability and recoil control that is what we've got the grip on for and then we've put the grip on which is you know counteracted our aim down sight speed so now we've put on a collapsible stock this is going to have you moving around like some insane person that's been drinking on plenty of red balls it's a really nice setup that he uses very very aggressive for those of you who like to rush and as we know it's pretty difficult in this particular game to rush in terms of the secondary scum he, he tends to flip through things but if you really want one shot kill potential and you don't want to run eod as he doesn't tend to then you're going to want to use the 357 and the attachments we've got on is the long barrel which gives you increased damage range increased bullet velocity uh increased recoil control at the cost of aim down sight speed and movement speed but believe me it's a pistol you just want to get down your sights and get that shot off i use the lightweight trigger just increases your fire rate you could put the match grade on which gives you increased aim stability also but if you try and shoot people off the hip here then a, a lot of time you will get hit markers so i put the lightweight trigger on here snake shot this turns this into pretty much a, sh a shotgun pistol it gives you insane one shot kill potential 
really, really nice and satisfying to use when you're in close range combat in rooms. Bam, bam. You can clean out six enemies, one shot each. It's really, really nice. Uh, obviously, it comes at the cost of damage range. That's why we put on the long barrel. And then you want stipple grip just to get down your sight really quickly. If you're sprinting, you won't get caught off guard as you've got increased sprint to fire speed. And then finally, sleight of hand because it's only got six in the chain in the uh, chambers. So once you've depleted that, you're going to want to put that on and that will get you reloaded quickly. In terms of perks, these are things that you can switch out to your pleasing. I, I have observed Scumpy using double time, ghost and then shrapnel and then he... Uh, Press square to activate your specialist uh, and he basically doesn't use any streaks because he's often going for nuclears. So he tends to use EOD, scavenger or cold blooded. Sometimes I have observed him switch out double time for EOD and he either uses EOD as his perk one or quick fix as you can kill players and regenerate your health. But we're also going to put the Semtex on and then finally the Stim Shot. So if you do get some type of damage, but you survive, you can pop off a Stim Shot and literally get back into that fight and catch any unsuspected enemies which are chasing you down or still in the vicinity where you can damage. And that's where if you really want to, you could change out sleight of hand for frangible wounding. Now they don't use this in the actual pro scrims and stuff because it's not allowed, it's banned. Um, as, as a lot of stuff are that's why you see the same generic setups quite often the mp5 is pretty dominant and the m4 is another weapon that you'll tend to see quite often as well now if you want to see an m4 class setup then i will do it but let me know down in the comments section if this is something you are interested in guys to stay on the right track hit the subscribe button and to watch more videos from me hit this thumbnail here